the chief, always trying to take my fish. The fishing trip got canceled due to weather. <laughs> and but who, look who's here! So man, wouldn't it be great to make a show out of this, this somehow? This would be awesome. Because we got the chief here. I, I'm really not feeling optimistic <laughs> that we're going to get off the sand. No, but my back is still wet. I feel that though. There's like nothing here. Yeah. So we got booted right off as soon as we tried to go out. We had two to four footers. A couple, that one might have been a five, or it was just too rough. We were getting sprayed. And so we're gonna come, we came in the river. We're gonna try in here for a little bit. There's one. You got one? Yep. Yeah, I need you to move your line. Okay. Nice fish. I'm, I'll, I'll bet pike. That's what my bet will be. Oh, no, what is that? Small mouth. Small mouth, I think, yeah. No, I don't need a net. That's a large mouth. Actually, with that crankbait, I probably am going to have to net him. Wow. Not a bad large mouth. I don't... Hey, I'll take whatever I can get no, today. I you didn't want the neck. Oh, well, I forgot I had a crankbait on. <laughs> I'm not lipping. I didn't want to put my hands down. No. I'm not as good as the pros, so I needed the, nice the salmon net because we are, well, as we said before, got booted off the water. So we'll come in and see if we can't catch some some bass or walleyes and picked one picked a large mouth off with a strike king deep diving crankbait not a bad bass oh, oh my gosh yeah, I was hitting it and I had I wasn't even looking. I was oh wow. Small mouth. Yeah, it is a good one. Uh at some point, yeah. Wow. He's staying down too, isn't he? It's a good fish. Dig it. Dig it. They did don't forget 75 degrees though too. That's true. This is a heck of a what the heck do I have? He gotta be a small mouth. Ooh. I love these drags on these. I just want to see them. I don't even care at this point. I just want to see. Oh, it is a hog. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Oop, he did not like that, did he? Oh. Yeah! That's not quick. quite as big as I thought, but big enough. Wow, look at that small one, huh? That's a good one. Yeah. Woo. You know what somebody would be saying? Yeah! <laughs> We will totally take that one. Put the net down. Net Chief's on. Chief's in my way when I'm trying to make the show. Boo boo! And hang on, I gotta take a picture of it. That's not the right one. That's that one. <laughs> Three and a half pounder. It's sank. Hey. So that one's we're trying to salvage our trip, like I said before. Some bass fishing, our salmon trip that got canceled due to high winds. That'll do. We'll take that. Oh, hey. Oh, chief. Almost got the quick release. The worms like that all the time. There you go. No. Maybe. Is that a fish? No, it's a shirt. Coming up. Yep. Oh, look at you got. Eye. You got a wood eye. Oh, I gotta get a wood eye. Oh. What? Wart fish wood eye. Hold that fish up. Or hold that wood up. What the heck? It's a wood eye. Yeah. This is a very rare wood eye though. It's 
a swordfish wood eye. <laughs> it's a swordfish, a swordfish wood eye. I better hurry up and let it Oh, go. you better put that one back in. <laughs> I don't know how much it laid down, but there's fish. Oh, yoga. Oh, that's a nice one. Yoga pants. Nah, I'm gonna try and get them off. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what is that? That's smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. Oh, that's definitely not a keeper. I'm sorry. No way. Huh? No way. Why? Yoga pants. Oh, it is too big. Yoga, yoga, yoga! That's not that big. It's too big for a keep. Oh, it is not. Yeah, it is. How big is it? Let's see. I don't know, but I can't. Let's check it. Let's uh, put it on the scale. Wow, that's a nice fish. Remember when we were doing when we start off netting? Oh, and Charles Lloyd, by the end of the day, we're thumbing them all. Yeah. Because we're like, oh. Oh, bad thumb. Yeah! Okay. Nice fish. I'm going to say 17. 17 and a half. Yeah. Sorry, Chief. You got a couple nice fish. 17 are okay. It's not like you have you 30. 18. It's not like you have 30 kids to feed. You got enough no, for don't. you and Lee in there. So, how big is it? 17 and a half inches. That's what I, that's what I said. You said 17. So, so, we put it on the thing. We switched over. We stopped biting on the tube jigs. We got one on the crankbait. Switched over to the Ned rig and started getting them. Uh, it's the first big one. We lost a couple of really nice ones, but all these different colors that we have with the Ned rigs, um, for the Ned rig rather. And this is the yoga pants color. And that's a Z-Man. That's what I forgot to say. That's a Z-Man bait. All right. Put it on the thingy. Oh, he's going in anyway. Well, you know, but I want to see how big it is. Oh, you want to see how big? I will say 17 and a half. That's what I said. Oh. You said 17. All right, we'll go 17. I'll stick with it. 17. Oh, 17 right on the nose. Look at that. Oh, he's probably under 17. No, he's over 17. Just a tad. I think so. <laughs> in theory, normally, that is not in the same. Back on after my Ned rig. Fish the chief was trying so desperately to keep, but Lee, I would not let him. Lee. Lee, yeah, Lee's gonna be mad about that one. Yep. All right, if I get one under, if I get one 15, another one between 14 and 17, I'll let you take them home. Yep. How about that? Here, here's a better idea. Why don't you catch one for yourself to take I'm home? To. Oh. Maybe, you know, peanut butter jelly. I don't know. Maybe if you took caught one for yourself one of these trips. <laughs> uh, the chief always Nick, Nick, Nick. trying to take my fish if you've watched videos in the past he always tries to take the fish I catch to take yeah, home with him because he can't catch him on his own so he needs somebody to catch him for him it was before you didn't have a camera how things work <laughs> now, you know now that we have a camera I catch all the fish see because I can edit everything Yeah. Need a net, Chief? Oh, that might. Oh, that might be a keeper. He's close. I don't know if I should bring a big net out for that, though. Should I? No. Oh, I missed it. Darn, I was looking at you. That was a beautiful jump. Darn. Because I was looking at you. He's under the boat. He's under the boat. Hey, how about these Neds, huh? The new net. new lure for you? I might have to. Oh, I have some of those. You got some. Things for drop shots. I'll show you apart. what Jake, what heads to get. Yeah. Oh, that you might want to put that helmet in there for you. That can go home with you. Ready? Coming and you know. Where is it? Where the heck is it? Very unpopular. Who wants to get in the shade of the boat? What in the world? Hey, that's a keeper. Nice fish. There you go. See? All right. Let's... This net's so big you can't even get down. There you go. That's a good eater. That one 
That will do. Hey. Look at right. All right. Peanut Lee. butter and jelly. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. Hey, we made a show. We made a show. I mean, put, I mean still could probably go out. Put them in live while for you even, see? I'm gonna say I see 15 and a half. Oh, that's not good. 15 and three quarters all day. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Look at that. I got my board bloody. Sorry. There. See now you're happy. I'm glad. I'm really glad you're that one back now. See, you've got your own fish. See. There. Now will he edit this part out so it doesn't look like Bruce catches any fish? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Fishing in the Garage. It's a segment that we've introduced on Fishitis uh, to just share our tactics and techniques with you that we do on the water. And so on this episode, I was fishing with Chief. He finally made it on a video. He's finally able to make it up. We tried to go for salmon in the morning, thinking, oh, we can get out. The, the winds seem pretty light, but we got out there and we started hitting two to four footers with, with white caps and a good chop. And I said, well, this just isn't worth it. So we turned around and we headed back in and we decided to fish the river. And we started smallmouth bass fishing. We started off with traditional tube jig that we love that gets it. And we caught a few fish on that, um, caught a fish on a crankbait. And they just really started slowing down. It was mid-morning and so I decided to try the Ned Rig. And I know a lot of bass fishermen use this rig. I haven't used it a ton in the past. I, I have used it. I haven't had a whole lot of success. I guess there's a time and place for all lures. This was it though. And so I stuck with it. I used the Ned rig and what was nice is we were fishing along the river channel and there's some humps, weedy humps that these small mouths were sitting on and you really couldn't fish it with anything else. So we started using because the other stuff were getting hung up in it. The heavier jig heads for the tubes and the crankbaits just kept getting hung up. We were trying different styles, but they just want, didn't really want to chase either. And I know Ned rigs are really good for bass when they're, especially when they're in a negative mood. When they're not looking to feed, you can still catch them on Ned rigs. They just kind of sit down there. They float around and they kind of sit up like that right in front of the fish's face and they just gobble it up. So, boy, did it work on this episode. Chief and I were reeling them in. I caught a ton of small mouths on them. What's nice is we were using the lighter ones, the 1 15th ounce and the 1 20th ounce, and so they weren't getting hung up in the weeds. So they would slightly, but you, you wouldn't get anything on there, so you would just kind of pull it out and kind of lift up out of the, out of the weeds, and the fish were slamming them. So just something that, that, to keep in mind when you're fishing, and you know it's the right conditions, the fish aren't really hitting, uh, you just got to try things, I think, too. And, and but the Ned rig, this is really good for us today. Now we used; they have an assortment of colors. I actually got a kit for my, for Christmas from the old man, the Z-Man kit, and it has a ton of the different Z-Man plastics in it, and uh, the Ned rig plastics, and they're really strong. They're really strong plastic. We're using. There's a bunch of different colors. I'll show you here. But you've got the uh, the green pumpkin, which is really popular always seems to work. Um, we've got the the yoga pants, which on this episode worked real well for me, and the peanut butter and jelly. Now, the, we were using mostly the finesse TRDs, uh, but they make a ton of different kinds. They make the TRD ticklers, which I have, um, you know, and, and an assortment of colors. You can get them all different. California Craw is another one that's really hot for us. So we just were really, really hitting into them with these lures and I can't wait to keep using them in the future. There's a the fish. Get one too? All right, double, double trouble. You got a good one? I'll try to get mine in quick so I can, cause mine's not as big. That's a good one. We're on the bass though. I'm gonna have to net this, uh, get this one up. Oh, I don't wanna break my rod. I got it, now you focus on your fish, I got it. Northern. Oh, look at that, that might be a keeper north. Oh! Here, let me get this fish out and I'll get. Bird. Bird. 
Beep. Sorry. There's a keeper for you. I don't think that's. Oh, there. yeah. You think that's 24? Yep. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say. It's that's definitely 24. It's not. Definitely. I will bet yep. money on that. Okay, let's find out. That's definitely 24 inches. We're actually making a show out of this. Got the chief on the boat. He scored on a. Not quite a sickening, but almost sickening status. We're, we're gonna find out. Little bass. We're gonna find. We turned a day into. We turned lemons <laughs> into lemonade. Lemons into lemonade. We tried to get the salmon, but way too rough. We had some some puckers, some pucker waves, and uh, <laughs> we turned around and came back. Um, had just enough gear on the boat to do some smallmouth bass fishing, and got lucky and hit into a. A bunch of them actually, so it turned out to be a pretty good day. Can't beat it. Can't beat it with a stick. Good to see the chief back on fish itis. Fun to be back. We'll get him back on soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.